Target industry I'm going to discuss about how to download and install Authony for Python in Windows operating system. So at here you can find to official site thony.org. So click that. Now here after the next is here Thony Python ID for beginner. So at your all latest 3.12 and here this is available for and here uh, Windows and here Mac and here Linux. So currently I'm using at your Windows 10 operating system. So let's uh, click at your Windows 10. Now here the size. The file size is 12.4 MB. Click on save. So at here currently it's now uh, downloading the file. So let's click on open file and here after this is the setup result for Thony. Now here after click on next, accept, next. So this is the location where our Thony is going to or uh, install. If you want then here you can click or uh, browse button after that you can change the location. So I'm not going to change and here this required 77.2 MB or disk space. Now click on next. Here create desktop icon. Click next. Here after click on install. So I think 50% uh, over. I'm getting the massive gate success. So now is now install. Run it via shortcut. And here dot to py. A file and select add it and Thony. So here after let's uh, click on close and here there is the icon created Thony. Double click there. Now add here you can find this is the editor so it's looking quite simple and here python 3.72 so add here there I already installed python 3.27 is now in my uh, laptop here you can somewhere find to uh, so add your python so you should uh, first install add your python id after python simply you should try to add your python in google after that you should download and install 3.7 so currently right, right now it's the 3.7 is the currently uh, current version on the market now here after the next uh, thing is so add here this is for run here device tools now here auto or uh, let's uh, create add here new project so it's already created now here after there i already written the program to add two numbers of python copy and here after paste now here after let's copy and paste so it's now paste right here. Now here after if you want then here you can uh, save the files. So save. So add here python files. Text python. So add here giving go uh, on desktop for uh, or you can save it anywhere. So going to add here give first. Now here after click on save. So here you can somewhere find first and here you can check the tab as well so dot py extension that means so the file is python now here after creating the files we need to execute here you can find run script click on execute now here i'm getting the sum of 4.5 and 8.3 is 12.8 so if i do any kind of error like oh, let's change something now if you execute so right here you can get to uh, some kind of error message like uh, this is the assistant and here trash pack here change some and here you get um is not defined so that means it's working fine and if i remove then here you can get the sum of 4.5 and 8.3 is 12.8 now here after you can run add here so you can do the debugging also now here you can run current script in terminal you can use terminal also so add here 4.5 and 8.3 so 
the output to help it. And here you can do the debugging. So I enter debug current is great, faster. So I enter this is 4.4. Now here you can now see that and here control F5 and shift F5. So both are disabled and here after you can find out a step info. So for this we need to paste and here F7 and here a step forward we need to paste and here F6. So F7 now we need to use all this space or function keys. So and here, here you can get this step info. Now here it's a printing the sum of two number values. Now here up to you can go here. Now here this part has been disabled and here this part enabled once again. So this is the simplest way and here very simple editor of Python. So you should try if you are a beginner. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.